fun, happiness, identity, connection, and a sense of belonging are not often words used when explaining a scene with migrants in the picture. That is before you meet Pastor Julie, a Congolese migrant living in Uganda. Today, I visit Villa Park, a popular football ground in Uganda. I'm kind of nervous. My worry is communication, as I prepare to belt out my bonjour and savoir amidst that pleasantly surprised by Jebaleko, a popular local greeting. My name is Drari Pest, and I'm a Kwangali guy living here in Uganda as a migrant. Peste has been here for a couple of years now. He narrates to us how football has been able to do so much for him as an immigrant. Uh, sport has brought us to forget the wars that are in our country. And we got out here, we chat out with new friends here. The, the priest, actually these guys here, they help us feel home. Like this is our mother country. You know, though it's not our mother country, but when with them, we feel, yeah, at least we serve. Basically, that's why we love to be here with Ugandans. But he's not just having fun and connection, but through the Villa Park Football Club, he has managed to find the respect and admiration of his Ugandan teammates. In Uganda, uh, it is the only country that I've gotten to see when guys here don't discriminate other guys from other countries, unlike in our countries, of whereby you get those walls in between yourselves. But here, all of us are welcome. It is all about sport. From a small boy from DRC to a happy, confident, respected team member who's appreciated by his Ugandan teammates. When we play sport here, and the welcome that we do get from guys from this side, uh, actually, it makes us feel not to get back to our country. So we don't know when the conflicts will end, but uh, apparently we feel like we want to live in this country. Julie hopes to play for professional clubs one day, such as Barcelona in Spain. Uganda ranks as the top refugee hosting country in Africa and one of the top five hosting countries in the world. By July 31, 2022, Uganda's total refugee population was at 1.5 million. About 2.7 kilometers away is St. Henry's Sports Center in Kabalagala. It is yet another point where many immigrants converge to associate, reconnect and stay fit. <laughs> Horn Africa FC plays here. The group meets every day from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. These people were once complete strangers, but from the same country. Their love for the game of football saw them meet on the turf, bond, and connect over soccer practice. We just, we just met here in Uganda. Yeah, and what, make us, what brought us here, all of us, is that football. Yeah, and we have interacted, and I know all of them now, their name is and where they are from, each one of them, the town he came from, especially Somali, all of us, we, we came from a different places in, in Somalia. So I know all of them now, and what interacted us is that football. Omar says they have not just associated and played as Somalis alone, but also with countries like Eritrea, Ethiopia and others. They've built friendships and connections. <laughs> he also appreciates the support as a stress reliever and a source of joy and oneness for the group. It's absolutely a stress reliever. When I'm not playing football, I feel so much stress at home. So, but here it's so enjoyable. Yeah, I feel so much ex uh, excited when I'm together with my boys. It helps them to associate with Ugandans, to associate with themselves. Now, here, I'm, where I'm standing right now, there are Somalis. Up there, there is Sudanese. And uh, Ethiopians up there, the Eritreans up there, the, sometimes you get Indians. Mm, last time you had Americans. Forced migration affects people. And it does that because it leaves no one with permanent homes, family or friends. However, sports has the ability to turn places such as this tough into a community, into an association of friends, of teammates, of a new family acquired. And that is the power of sports in 
making sure that these communities feel at home, assimilate, associate, and still identify with their origin countries. Tracy K. Tendo, MCI TV.